Okay, so hey, um, I haven't really done a video in some time. Um, I just kind of feel, it's not even that there hasn't been really much that I wanted to say. There's been a lot that I've wanted to voice and say, but I think sometimes you just feel blank and empty and for some reason the brain and the voice box doesn't doesn't connect it's the same with the mind and the heart sometimes it just doesn't connect there's a switch and it flicks on it flicks off and you dissociate and you become something that escapes things You're escaping and I think everybody is feeling the same to be truthful with the state of the fucking world and everybody's in fear of one another you know and it's not just fear though there's a lot of anger and hatred and people don't quite know where to aim it you know so they're aiming it at each other and we're fighting a bloodbath to one another but at the same time we need to awaken and realize that we shouldn't be fighting ourselves the real enemy is there in front of us you know but enough with that crap i can't be bothered with conspiracy i can't be bothered with true thing i can't be bothered with any of that stuff anymore it's consumed me for a long long time it presses you more so than you know and when you have issues and other things that you need to work through yourself, I think worrying and dwelling on the, the world and the state of affairs as it is, is not a good thing to do. I mean, yes, be mindful of what's going on in the world right now. Don't totally shut yourself off because again, if you totally shut yourself off, you can encounter some problems too. Um, it's harder to get back into the swing of things and, and get yourself back out there. But again, when you go into hospital time after time, they break you down, they don't build you back up, they break you down and they MK you in certain which ways, any ways they seem fit. You know, they, they want to try and fuck this even more, but they want to fuck it to a way that you, you're no longer a, a trouble or a concern for them. They want you to, um, you know, dose you up with loads of different medicine and pills and stuff. And they just want you to be an empty vessel. They would like, they would like and rather us sit in, in an idle, docile state. They, they don't want emotion. They don't want personality. They don't want character. They want us hidden. They want us in our boxes, you know. And I think, I don't know, reflecting on myself and my blog and my timeline and stuff like that, I think a lot of the stuff that I post is, some of it is positive, some of it is inspirational and some of it has meaning and message, but some of it is definitely dark it goes off on a tangent, I rant, I rave, I just switch out, I don't know what to, to do or to say, I have all of these intense feelings and emotions inside of me and I don't know what to do with them, so that will come out in a, a rant or something that you guys might think, oh she's riddling, she's rhyming, she's fucking off her trolley, she's going crazy, that's whatever you may think, whatever you may feel, whatever, you're entitled to your judgments, I'm not going to take that away from you. Keep your judgments by all means. We're all human beings here. We all are allowed that. Um, I don't know. I just think that, you know, uh, I just kind of am being mindful now to the fact that if you have a platform online, you can be reached very easily and by anyone and everyone. And I just think that you need to be mindful about what you post. And <clears throat> if you're posting, you know, it's not even so much if you're posting depressing things because that's you know everybody i wouldn't say everybody but we are going into another great depression right now i think everybody is definitely feeling the impending doom and we need to um be mindful of that but at the same time 
I think we should to try and go out of our way to, to help people that are not feeling that great, you know, not jumping the gun and shooting them when they're already down. Um, but again, you know, what can I say? I just think that you know, I don't know, people are easily influenced by by other people and I just think that, you know, I think I've made the conscious decision now that I'm going to be getting rid of my blog, my Squawk Tumblr blog. I mean, I'm, don't get me wrong, I'm not going to be totally getting rid of that. There'll be no way. That's my timeline, that's my blog, I've had it for years, that's been my personal diary, that has been my escape, that has been somewhat of my release. Um, but at the same time, I feel as if some of the stuff on that blog is very negative and it's detrimental to me and to other people. And I just think that I just want to be a positive message and in the darkness that that's all that's that's I think that's all we should strive and, and want to be is, you know, that that voice and that that light for, for somebody else that's going through turmoil and shit you know you just want to give back and help and I think that by at the same time I don't think that I should be ashamed of the stuff that I've posted with my self-mutilation and you know because uh, when I cut I cut deep and, and some of the pictures and videos of me cut to smithereens have been well, graphic to, to say the least. It can fuel emotion and I think that if you're already in a shit space and you're scrolling through somebody's blog who's quite dark and depressive and feeling the same and then you come across a picture of them cut open, blood everywhere, well that can definitely be a trigger. 100% I know that, I've experienced that myself, that's why I do trigger warn everything, I put the TW sign there, trigger warning. By some time it might be too late that they've already clicked on that post and seen you cut open to shreds and then that's it, they're triggered then and they're in the bathroom or wherever they are cutting themselves to shreds and I don't want to be the reason for that, I don't want to be the reason for somebody's demise or destruction, I don't want to take no part in that. I've flagged the blog as an adult orientated blog and it's no longer going to be widespread for any which person to access that. It's, it's going to be basically only me that can access that blog. I feel like I'm coming to a stage, I'm coming, I'm transitioning, you know, we all have that. We all transition every day, every single day of our lives. We're growing, we're learning, you know. And I just think, after a lot of reflection, um, that, you know, I just will carry these scars and I will carry these internal and external scars for the rest of my life. There's no escaping that. There's no amount of makeup that will cover that. You know, it's real, it's raw, it's come from a very hurt, sick place inside of me. And um, And I just, I, as much as, you know, living life and with the choices that we make in life, we're going to be judged left, right and centre, you know, it doesn't matter where we are, who we are, what we do, we're going to be judged. 
and um I just think that, you know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Everybody, I know, while I think being judgmental and judging people is not, um, it's not a very good thing to do. We are all human and we all do that sometimes unconsciously. You know, we've already made up a decision or we've already made up our mind about somebody, what we think they are, their motives or something like that but we should be mindful that actually sometimes the brain gets it wrong um, and we jump the gun over things and we may not be thinking totally straight. We, we might be a little bit impaired and uh, something else could be fueling our decision, you know? So I think we should just be open um, and respectful to, to each other's differences in this life and world because hey we are all individuals and we are all different and we're all unique you know so don't don't jump the gun and don't be the first to point your little finger you know to say ah she's got it this way or she's done that or she's done this or she's fucking crazy or la 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 I mean, yes, let's point the finger and jump the gun at the government and, you know, the corporations that rule this fucking earth, the reptilian nagas, nasty pieces of work. Let's start, you know, doing something and, and joining hands and, and connecting as one. Let's start saying to them, no, actually, we are the people. And if you don't want to stay, if you don't want to be here side by side with us, if you don't want to, you know, incorporate this world with us, if you are just solely intent on dominating, destroying and, and you know, taking over, then I'm sorry, but, you know, you've, you've met your match. Um, if you want to go on like that, then us as human beings, we can definitely show you a thing or two. These guys think that they're more, you know, they have an advantage or something against us because they don't, they don't have the heart chakra. They can't experience love. We listen we we are awakening we've already shifted up to the fourth dimension some of us are resonating on the fifth you know but we will go back up into a golden age again we're in the iron age right now we're in chaos um sorry excuse me we're in chaos and i think that through chaos and through pain and suffering can only bring light and happiness and, and joy so i guess we all just have to sit and, and fight for that um but there's no amount you know that we can't sit on our asses and, and and sit and think that you know things will magically get better for themselves things will just turn around no we we actually need to actively be doing something to turn this around because if they do get their way if they do chip us you know totally do take over then we are civilization human civilization and the world as we know it today will cease to exist pretty much you know we won't be living on top of the land we'll be underneath the land or we'll be in concentration camps we won't be seeing the light of day we won't be breathing the air you know this is happening and it's happening fast they're speeding it up because they see that people are waking up to what they're doing but thank you guys um I know you know what I'm sorry if I've ever offended you or I've ever pissed you off or I've ever triggered you in a way I think I you know it wasn't intentional it was literally me posting my turmoil my rants my raves my distress with screaming out for help with with no means to an end really We'll get there, people. We will.
Peace and love.